Hello Scorpio, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the 14th through the 20th. So this week, this week that is coming, please. What does Scorpio need to know using the Kelsey Cross spread? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please. One more. What is important for Scorpio to know this week? What situation they're dealing with, please? All right, we have the temperance. That's nice. So let's see. Judgment. Okay. The Queen of Swords. Wow, this is beautiful. The Empress. The Knight of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. Venus and Venus in Cancer. So let's see. Why the Two of Swords, though? The King of Pentacles, the Strength card, the Four of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. Well, you're not staying in that crossroads for long. Okay, your whole situation is about a renewal here, a second chance is, for some of you, even, you know, I'm, I'm getting that if it's not you, someone here towards you wanting forgiveness, because the judgment to me, especially, I can see the Queen of Swords being... Um, I don't want to say judgmental, actually, being very clear in should I allow this, should I not. That's what's ch uh, challenging the judgment, renewal, forgiveness, uh, second chances. It, it seems this queen of swords, which we're going to clarify, that is trying to stay objective and detached and even a little bit skeptical. I mean, especially here, I feel like the queen of swords is always embracing that sword. Uh, if I'm going to trust, if I'm going to lie anything... I'm, I'm, you know, it's your spoken word. It's your, uh, the way you talk is the, your decision. So that's what I'm thinking here. But this is happening, guys, because that actually it is nurturing. It is growth here. It is unconditional love. No matter what, when it comes to your subconscious and when it comes to your conscience, there is someone here that you want to be with or that you're feeling that this is your person. This uh, person understands your soul. You guys, all you have to do is look at each other and understand how much the close bond is and recently there's been movement there's been action to, towards friendship towards something here that felt more consistent so the consistency has been here now you feel like is this time for you know this renewal or this second chance or even you know starting something new with you and this person though the two of cups is what you think possible understanding and coming together the two of swords is is the immediate situation so they're still here no movement or I cannot make a choice uh, when it comes to this regard. Again, I feel like it is a queen of swords. A queen of swords is the, the obstacles and the challenge here. If we'll decide, decide to open up or, you know, embrace this situation. The way you see yourself and your influence is the king of pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, this may be very much well you, stable, grounded, wanting here to, to feel grounded in this energy, wanting to or this person, or in this case, you to, to have this um, common sense kind of situation. Well, I always look at the King of Pentacles here that is someone that very, very reliable. Like you can count that this person um, has everything here together. We'll see when we clarify, but I feel like you two are at crossroads with each other. There's a little bit of tension between this earth and fire, uh, and, fire and air energy. Um, external to you, what do you need to know? Pride is like someone wants to come in, but they're holding back, restricting themselves. Their pride is getting in the way. Uh, the Four of Pentacles, I, guys, I cannot see the Four of Pentacles with the judgment here, unless this is give me what's mine, give me what I deserve, give me the security. But uh, I feel for some of you, you're feeling that if this renewal happens here, is Am I going to lose something that is mine? It feels safe. Remember, the consistency has been here with you. The Four of Pentacles, maybe again, you no matter what, you want to retain what's yours. Um, what feel here that gives you security? That's what you're hoping for. You're going to find yourself, Scorpio, you or the person you're connecting here with this renewal, that in order for, um, for this, I feel like, 
clean slate or second chance to come in you have you have to let go of certain things emotionally there's a new journey and it's coming because after this crossroads i mean i cannot stay like this in this crossroads i have to decide let's see let's see let's clarify a little bit more and see what's going on i like that the empress and the two of cups because no matter what this is a potential outcome guys of what can happen your thoughts are going to be about a connection and why this is all happening is because there's actually true growth unconditional love and embracing that What is the judgment, please? One more. Yeah, this is something here that you've been considering. This is an emotion that has been lingering for some time. So you still... Are you contemplating opening up, sending someone a message or calling them? Or again, should I take this? Should I do it? That Queen of uh, Sword is, is not very convinced I'm getting there. It's like the signs are there, but I'm not sure. That's how I see her. Or the person, if you are the Queen of Swords, they see you as considering but not ready to open up. What? Do you, tell me about the Queen of Swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius for some of you. One more. Yeah. Yep, you see, someone is holding back. The queen, um, this is what the queen of swords tells me. There's still more work to be done. I want to see how things turn around. I want to work on other things or longevity before I believe that this is the moment of truth between the two of us or th the chance here we've been waiting for. There's work and dedication and improvement, you know, before going there in this you know finally this offer or this emotion tell me about the empress one more wow okay that's why you see yourself with the two of cups the empress and the emperor this is a power couple here that's why what is tell me about the empress and the emperor someone also is uh, for some of you it can be again you that you work perfectly with someone else but i do get this that this is the the boss uh, attitude here it's like someone that can be nurturing has like you know the kind of mother here that is always always oh i want it i mean also a dad or also you know um, has here to um, create an empire a foundation for some of you not not all of you um, i do get that with the empress as well with the emperor what is the empress and the emperor here please one more okay we have love we have romantic love you still at crossroads, you still, you know, you and your person, but this is two people that are very strong in their own self. And I mean, you and your, uh, this person individually here, very powerful. You are the yin and yang to each other, but also, you know, that's actions towards love and growth. Someone also may find you wants to come embrace your this un unconditional love towards you. What is the Knight of Pentacles here, please? One more. Yeah, there's been movement, such a Virgo energy, these two together. Um, the recent past, I feel like the actions were taken here because something became aware. It's like, I'm aware, consistency here, I know now what I need to do. It's like thoughts that finally provoke some type of movement in the recent past of um, consistency, friendship here for you and another person. But there's been some type of pathway that has been cleared here and seems consistent tell me about the two of cups please one more the 
moon, the cancer there, and the Venus in cancer and the moon. Very nurturing. Again, you guys may be emotionally here connecting. Hidden can be this connection. Very emotional, very much in the, I feel like in the 5D or in the dreams. But what you see possible is connecting with this person. What is the... To people that may be, again, you're not talking or you're not opening up. Very enigmatic. What is the Two of Cups and the Moon? One more. Yeah, there's a chance that you want. Okay. Yeah, there's things here that all you guys have to hide. I don't know why I cannot talk. I'm probably tired. Sorry, guys. To hide this connection, avoid this connection, waiting for some change, waiting to get out of that hidden concept there or enigma. Because the Seven of Swords and the, the Moon to me is, is concealment, not being out in the open. But you're waiting for the Wheel of Fortune for a chance here to turn around where both of you are out in the open. You may be thinking of this person this way as well. What is the Two of Swords, please? One more. Yeah, there's blockages. It's just the King of Cups is here as well. It's like what's coming in is I can't. I can't. I don't know here, which I'm completely blocked. I'm at crossroads because there is a defensive energy. There's barriers. There's someone that is putting boundaries or is not opening up completely and obstacles and challenges. And this is this may be your person that is coming in or your situation that I don't see right now where I can go. It's blocked. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. One more. The King of Pentacles is coming as such a sunny attitude, guys. That's why I feel like reliable, stable. Is this your person that you feel very much warmth and vitality here? If this is you, you know here what you need to do. When it comes to your stability, as I mentioned here, to wealth, um, to prosperity. That's what is influencing you and that's the attitude. I feel like you you are going to be happy no matter what's going on. Even there's a blockage that's not going to stop you. Even if it's the crossroads, you just in the end feel like, okay, now I need to know here what to do. Especially because there's a lot of things, as I mentioned, that have been in concealment or emotional turmoil or, you know, Things that have not been clear, clearing out with the Eight of Cups, you'll leave some of those emotions behind. So let's see what is this external strength card. What is the ex external strength card here? One more. Oh, someone really misses you. Yeah, they're heartbroken. They're dreaming about you. They have all these emotions. They're trying to restrain themselves, Scorpio. So external to you, what you should be aware that someone is pining, is trying to be strong, trying to not be vulnerable, their pride here. They may be putting a very strong front here, but actually this is someone that inside is crying. What is the Four of Pentacles, please? <clears throat> One more. King of Pentacles. So again, Capricorn in their energy. Or you're hoping to hold on to what it is here that uh, brings you that stability or you're hoping to be with this person. What is the Four of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles? This feels very much safe. Like there's a safe net there. But I know you're looking for something here with the judgment. You're your person. I don't know if you feel like they, they're going to open up. They're coming towards you and you have to consider if you're going to let them in. One more. Yeah. This is not taking a risk because being afraid. There's a passion here. There's a fire burning. But you're still fearful. You know that someone here provides the stability or you want to think of this stability. Uh, the Four of Pentacles does not take a risk. So to me, 
or you're hoping that even if this new beginning starts to hold on to the security or you're hoping that this person can have the guts here and take a leap of faith. Let's see. Tell me about the Eight of Cups, please. Why the potential is the Eight of Cups? Again, and I feel like because of this Eight, um, the Queen of Swords trying to work things out or being the obstacles in here, the challenge. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. One more. Wow. Is the... Uh, okay, someone, all right, someone here, guys, from the past that you have a very, very, very strong emotion. Very intense. Is the person here you have on your mind, but you might feel still emotionally withdrawn or disappointed or this person, there's still a lot of watching. They're still keeping tabs. But because of the crossroads here and the blockages and, you know, the defensiveness, no, I cannot choose, I cannot go there. You still are going to find yourself, guys, disappointing, leaving certain emotions behind. I know that the Eight of Cups always wants to go towards that Nine of Cups. So I feel like for you to go towards this, are you ready to open up to this person with a Page of Swords, send a message, talk? Or you feel like, okay, uh, what I, what the thoughts I had? And again, I say you, but it can be very much your person. My question here from the beginning was, what Scorpio needs to know? So that's what you need to know. There is a disappointment here, guys. There is... Regarding this connection that you you have on your thoughts here or what you see possible. Maybe this is not, and we're looking for this week. Maybe this is not this time. Maybe I should let, you know, holding on to other things. Remember, I said there's someone here externally that is looking at you with regrets, but there's a lot of pride here. And I feel like, to me, it's like who's going to let uh, the other person in? Is it ready to open up? Is ready to decide? And I feel like that's not the case this week. You are holding on. <clears throat> I'm sorry for my voice. You are holding on to something that brings you happiness and stability. And again, as I mentioned, this is a power couple energy at the heart, at the subconscious level. Why this is all happening is because we have two powerful personalities, you and this person. And in between is the Knight of Cups. So we know it's love. It's a matter what needs to come next year, who needs to decide. And that's crossroads at the moment and leaving behind disappointments. I really hope this resonates with you guys. As usual, in the extended, we will see what's going on with your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.